We're having 50 mile an hour wind gust. It's freezing cold. It's November the 18th. Caught my first crappie. The main problem we're having actually ain't the weather, it's just the tire. And it just now, this one little spot cleared up where I might be able to get one or two out of here. It's, it's so bad that you can't cast anywhere where the fish are. You definitely can't use a lure. The only solution was minnows and bobber. And uh, I just caught my first one. I had one on three times, but they were either small or just weren't swallowing the hook all the way. And finally, her, uh, her little spot up here cleared up just a few minutes of the leaves went down. There's one little spot. It's not. Oh man, did you see that? It went completely under and I wasn't watching. God. I don't know. Starting another journey today. I'm floating the Black River once again for walleye, sauger, and crappie as the backup. Uh, same stretch of river I floated the last time. Uh, the high is 63 today. It was a cold morning, so I decided to wait. It is now 9.30. I'm getting on the water at 9.30. Uh, I got five different poles rigged up, one for vertical jigging walleye with a bucktail jig, fire tiger in color, I got a bobber and minnow, crappie, I got a crappie jig, and then I have two different types of twister tails in different colors, one's one of those really nice authentic moxie grub, so I don't have to sit there and retie over and over, I can just grab a different rod and change it up real fast. So I should be able to get something. What I'm doing different this time than I from the last time I went is I'm only focusing on five holes and I'm ignoring the mediocre places because I'm targeting those really deep 90 degree bends and drop offs for the holes that are like 20 to 30 foot deep specifically for walleye if they don't cooperate I got a hole that's real close to the end that you've seen on my last video where I caught the seven crappie within three minutes uh, on that tree I'm also going to tip the jigs with minnows I'll try them plain um, here and there and see what the difference is see if they bite better on the ones with minnows on it <coughs> compared to the ones without and we'll just see what the difference is it's a gorgeous day like i said right now it's already 60 something degrees not bad for the end of november uh, i know i ain't gonna have to worry about any other fishermen out on the water today there was another guy buying minnows when i went but he's going to his own pond on his private property so uh, see anybody being down here the water is green in color it has about six foot of visibility not as much as you'd think but it's not bad it's actually the perfect color for walleye i don't like it when it's gin clear because it just makes them so weary um, and, and smarter at that so this will make them just about right. <clears throat> oh yeah, nice bass on a crappie jig. All right folks, I got my first fish. I hadn't been here 10 minutes, that's awesome. Not a bad one. I keep him actually. Put him on the electric chicken. Vertical jigging actually.
Alright folks, I got my third fish. I actually had the camera off when I caught my second one because I was talking to somebody and just didn't bother turning it on. All three of them have been identical. They're all three 12 inch spotted bass. No walleye as of yet. I got my first walleye or sauger. After about a half an hour of just casting over and over, and I missed three of them, they, they're just real light ticks. This is definitely what I think it is. Yep. Nice one. This one's about three or four pounds. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye, about 19 or 20 inches. Man. Fucking nice. Finally. After losing about 10 jigs already. It finally paid off, folks. Oh yeah, I got him for sure. He's hooked. He's hooked good. Oh boy. He's a nice one. It's the nicest one I've caught in many years. In fact, oh yes. Look at that beauty. I'm using a four-inch yellow Mr. Twister tail with an orange jig head. They love yellow, they love orange, and they love green. So I figured I'd get two of the colors on there. Uh, I was trying to tip them with a minnow and it just wasn't swimming right. I was getting leaves stuck in it all the time. So I took the minnow off. He's about 20 or 21 inches. That's a nice Missouri walleye right here. And that is a true walleye, not a song. Alright, I am definitely keeping him. Let's see if I can get another one. <sighs> Boy, after all this hard work and dedication, I finally got what I've been after. It still ain't a monster, but it's it's considered nice for Missouri anyway. You Minnesota folks and Wisconsin, I know it's not nothing for you, but uh, we don't have very many walleye in Missouri to begin with, and it's hard to find them, even though we do have them. They're real peculiar. They're not in any of them really in regular lakes they're in reservoirs but mostly streams and when you're floating a section of stream out of a five mile stretch you're lucky to have one or two good holes they're really big here but once you find one they say don't leave because there's always more so now i know i've had three bikes right here and it's always about 10 feet in front of me because it is the deeper part of the hole. I think there's a lot of it.
and a third one. Thank you.